Hi everybody, this is Randy Suits with a letter and a song. Our letter for 19 April is above all comprehension. My darling Eve, on the first day of creation, God said, let there be light. And he separated the day from the night. It is recorded that God saw that it was good. This was the first of six days of creation, and on the sixth day, God formed man of the dust of the earth, and he saw that it was good. God was pleased with his work. His creation work was above all comprehension. Only God can create, that is, speak into being, something from nothing. He said before forming man, let us make man in our image. He was speaking to his son, whom we know as Jesus Christ. But the mystery of life shows us that when we are grafted into the body of Christ, we become part of the us to which God referred. Let us make man in our image. The last creation work was to form the woman Eve by taking a rib from Adam. Adam had named the animals, walked in the lavish Garden of Eden that God had planted, and talked with God. When he beheld the helpmate God prepared for him, he experienced love and completeness above all comprehension. We often think that the great works of God are no longer manifested. When I met you, my darling Eve, mine was exhilaration beyond all comprehension. If you have never found that person who completes you as no other, you will most certainly know her when you meet her. Such was our meeting. At a distance, you were attractive to me, and it was discomforting to be incapable of casually looking upon you. How could one woman so disturb my mental equilibrium by simply appearing? Your presence pleased me more and more. Nothing was more beautiful than you. I thank God for bringing you to me. His creation of our love is above all comprehension. All my love tonight, Kohane. It actually is that way when God uh, intervenes in our lives. We think we have an idea of how wonderful and great it's going to be, but we have no comprehension. That which God does is incomparable. It always glorifies his name, and anything that glorifies his name uh, pleases us and also glorifies us as a, as a, as a result. So we see the works of God that he set in place when he brought the woman to the man. And uh, because he also brought the woman, the man to the woman. And just because he was first didn't mean he didn't bring uh, him to the second one created. But these are the first two beings which were created, Adam and Eve. All others were born. Uh, we were procreated. So let's give thanks to God for his goodness and kindness to man and the work that he did to prepare this world for our enjoyment. God is glorified in all his work. And let's give thanks for his works. We're going to do a song... Uh, and then you happen to me. Moonlight and music were meaningless things. Starlight and roses, engagement ring. I needed someone to call my own. And then you happened to me. Romance and love were never for me. Hugging and kissing, that just couldn't be. I needed.
need someone to call my own And then you happen to me I never knew what a kiss could be Until you kissed at your door Now all I know is it's you or me Just keep kissing me more I never knew that someone like you. I never thought I'd be saying I do. I needed someone to call my own. And then you happened to me. I never knew what a kiss could be. Someone to call my own And then you happen to me And then you happen to me And then you happen to me <laughs> That's kind of the way it is when we, were, when we find the one that God has brought us We think we've found them But God brought them and let's give glory and praise to the Most High God. He prepared them too, and all that time, as well as he prepared you for them. And uh, it's altogether fitting and proper that he should be glorified in those unions that he brought about. And so now, my dear friends, may the Lord, even the Most High God, be with you in all that you think, say, do, and are. Thank you for being, and God willing, we'll see you again soon.